In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create an interactive syllabus or course outline using the Lessons tool within your Isaac Sakai course site. The Lessons tool allows you to present course content to students so that they progress through the learning tasks in a structured way in a centralized spot. Content within your course site, such as resources, assignments, forums, and even quizzes, can all be linked within Lessons so that students have only one place to visit. This works great for online courses, but can also be very useful in traditional courses that make use of any amount of resources that are available online or through your Isaac Sakai course site. So back to our interactive syllabus. In order to get started, we'll need to enable the Lessons tool, which is not enabled by default. We do that by opening Site Info, Edit Tools, and then we put a check next to Lessons. We can optionally customize the title. By default, the title is just fine. However, in this case, I would like to make it a little more specific. So I'll change it to syllabus. And we can see that our, our new lessons, uh, which we've retitled syllabus, has appeared on the left side of our page. And when we open it, we're greeted with a great deal of instructional content that is useful as you're just learning to use the tool. So what I would like to do uh, is add some very basic information about the course that students may need uh, to have access to at a glance. That includes, of course, the course title, uh, contact information for the instructor, course meeting times and locations. I have all of this information available in a Microsoft Word document already, and I think it might be much quicker in order to just paste that in. So we'll do that now by highlighting all of the content on the Word document that contains it. This is off screen, so you won't be able to see this, unfortunately. And after copying it, I click Add Text. And because I'm using a Microsoft Word document to, uh, to paste content, it's definitely advisable to use the Paste from Word option. So I paste the information within the box, click OK, and see that it appears within the text editor. I'd like to create one heading on the page, uh, so I'll do so by highlighting the text and then changing the format from normal to heading one. And so now we have our contents just on the surface of our interactive syllabus. I would like to spruce it up a little bit with an image, which I've actually already uploaded to the site to the resources tool. So it's readily available now to lessons as well. We add the image by clicking Add Multimedia, choose existing file, and then the select button that's associated with the image. And we see that it's appeared. This image was downloaded from Flickr and it's been made available by the creator uh, using a Creative Commons non-commercial attribution license. So it's certainly important to attribute the image to, the, to its creator. And so we'll do so by adding a little text block just underneath it. So we do so by, by clicking Add Text. And pasting the title of the image as well as the name of the author and a link to the image's location. And we do so by highlighting the title, clicking the link icon in the text editor, and pasting that link in. I would also like to make the full course syllabus available to students uh, in case they would like to take a look a little more closely at some of the details associated with the course. The syllabus has also been uploaded to the resources tool, however I would like them to be able to view it in the centralized location. So I do so by clicking add resource, choose existing file, and then select the syllabus. So we now have a link here to our course syllabus that students would be able to access simply by clicking on this. Um, so I'd like to start to add information about the first two weeks of our course. Uh, that would include any to-dos that students will need to be aware of. So we're going to create a little separator or dividing line here. So now we see that it's appeared. 
And from this point, we're going to create sub-pages, uh, one page for each of the two weeks that we're going to uh, demonstrate. And we do that by clicking the Add a Sub-Page button and choosing a title for it. We're immediately taken to our new page, which as you can see, because of the instructional content, does not have any information on it just yet. You'll see also at the top that there's a breadcrumb feature that indicates where you are within the hierarchy of your lessons tool. At the moment, we're viewing a subpage, which is essentially one below the top layer. If we would like to return to the top layer, we do so by clicking. And back we go. You can see, however, that uh, a link to the subpage has now been established at the bottom of our syllabus homepage. So we return to that by clicking here. So we'll start by adding a title for the week using add text. And then once again, changing our formatting to heading one. And then we'll start to add uh, content like lecture slides and readings so that students have uh, a good sense of their to-dos for the week in Chapter 1. So we'll do so by clicking Add Text. And we'll give it an underline just so it's a little more conspicuous. And then we're going to create a link to the PowerPoint slides that have already been uploaded to the Resources tool by clicking Add Resource choose the existing file and then select it. I'd next like to identify several readings that the students ought to do. So once again we'll click add text. Oops. Once again we'll underline it. The first of which is an online journal article available from the Brock Library. And the advantage here is that when we create a link to the article, students will be directed to it in its online location. So we'll paste the article title and author. I have beforehand saved the link to the article's location, so I'm going to paste that on top of this now by highlighting the title and the author name clicking the link icon, and then inserting the URL. We'll also make that a bullet point. I would also like students to read the first chapter of the course text. So now we've populated week one and chapter one required to do's for students. So we're done for now. We'll go back to the syllabus homepage and we will create the week two information. So we'll do so the same way by clicking add a subpage and calling it week two and once again we're brought to a fresh page. The format of this week is going to be a little bit different. To begin, I would like students to review content from the previous week in an online quiz. I've already created the quiz in the Tests and Quizzes tool and we'll be able to link directly to it from the Lessons tool. We'll do so by first creating a header for the week. And then a new section. underline just like before and now we click add quiz because we only have one quiz available within the site only one is an option that's selectable however if you have several you'll need to choose which one you would like to link click you selected item when you're done and then it appears within the weekly quiz section so students that click on this link here will be taken directly to the quiz and can start writing. I would also like students to do another reading from the course text. So we'll, we'll uh, create that in this section just like we did in the previous chapter by clicking Add Text. And 
and we'll even bullet it. And I would also like students to take a look at an optional video that's available on YouTube. One of the good things about the lessons tool is that it actually allows you to embed videos so that students will not be required to leave your Isaac Sakai course site in order to view things that are available on YouTube and as well some other online sources. We'll do that by clicking add multimedia and then paste the URL of the video within this box. I have already visited the YouTube site and I have pulled the URL from the top of the page as I've viewed the video, and so I'm pasting it here. And then the video appears within the lesson page and can be viewed by clicking the play button. So we've created the first two weeks of content for our online syllabus. This demonstration has allowed us to take a look at many of the very useful features of the lessons tool. And also note that students will not be able to see these edit boxes here. This is for the site maintainers, uh, in particular those with the instructor role only, as well as these edit boxes. And this will allow a very seamless experience for your students and also an excellent opportunity for them to access much of your course content in a centralized location. If you have any questions about how to use the lessons tool or any other tools within Isaac Sakai, please contact edtech at brocku.ca. That's E-D-T-E-C-H at brocku.ca. Thanks for watching.